This is iPhone 10, not X. 10. Not to be confused with DMX, Xbox One X, or OS X, which is actually OS 10. But wait, you say, what happened to 9? With an all new edge to edge 5.8 inch OLED Super Retina HDR display. This is iPhone 10. It's 10 because it's the 10th anniversary of the first iPhone. Today, Apple is going to reinvent the phone. 10 years ago, Steve Jobs introduced the first iPhone on stage at Macworld 2007, and I was there. I am standing right in front of the iPhone. I'm spinning around shortly, and you'll be able to see the front of it. I saw it in person inside the spinning glass display, and little did I know at the time that this phone would change my life. Not just mine, everyone's. This was the start of creating simplified apps, social networking, and laying the groundwork for new forms of communicating like iMessage and FaceTime. It put the world and our friends in the palm of our hand. Like usual, in typical Apple fashion, they may not have been the first to make a smartphone, but they revolutionized, simplified, and made it desirable and mainstream. I can promise you that I will never be the first person in line for any sort of Apple event. There's no way. Like, this is it. Like, we're here. We're first. We're first in line. This year was special. Apple announced the new iPhone iPhone 10 at the Steve Jobs Theater at their new Apple Park campus. This was the first event that they had ever held there, and it was a beautiful reminder of what Steve Jobs started 10 years ago with the first original iPhone. And it was only fitting that Steve should open his theater. I remember a time back in my day when you couldn't even copy and paste on the first iOS. Started from the bottom, now we're here. What is that? What apps you got there? That's nice. You got your Wi-Fi on? So what's new with iPhone 10? you ask? It's got Face ID. Instead of using Touch ID, because there's no longer a home button on the iPhone 10, you use your face to unlock your phone. Now, hopefully you weren't too attached to that Touch ID because your face is now the replacement. Ah. <laughs> Open the other ah. one! Open the other one! You gotta do that and swipe up! You're not gonna be, you're not gonna be able to- With the full front edge-to-edge -edge OLED screen, sacrifices had to be made. It's actually quite shocking how fast Face ID works. It just works. It's hard to explain. It just works. Setup is super simple. You just roll your face around following the on-screen directions, and there you go. This is all made possible with the new True Depth camera. It projects and analyzes more than 30,000 invisible dots on your face to create a very, very, very precise map. Your face is now registered for logging in and face paying. Yes, face pay. Just double click the side button, and just as you would with Touch ID, Apple Pay pops up, and I just bought a cheese wheel that looks like a pumpkin with my face. <laughs> wow, the future is so great. Like, I just paid with my face. But what if I'm wearing a hat, or glasses, or I get old, or I get Botox? I'm not quite sure, but Apple has promised us that it will learn your face as you change, whatever that means. Privacy is obviously a huge concern for most people, and if it's not, then you should really rethink your priorities. With Face ID, there's a one in a million chances of a stranger unlocking your phone randomly, whereas with Touch ID, it's one in 50,000. Of course, if you have an identical twin, then those chances are a little bit higher. I don't have a twin, and all the twins that I know were unavailable to help me with this demo. Justine, I'd love to help you, but I'm trying to win Dancing with the Stars right now, and Jonathan, he's busy bench pressing kitchens. Here is my non-twin sister. She can't get into my phone using her face. Even though people say we look alike, but I don't really see it. No, Jenna, stop it! Stop it! Oh god, okay, 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 my eyes are open, my eyes are open! <laughs> no! Jenna, go! Now, what if she chases me around and tries to use my face to gain access into my phone even though I don't want her to? This scenario, I'm sure, will be replicated if someone refuses to unlock their phone for you. There is an extra layer of protection to avoid this from happening by turning on attention awareness. It'll only unlock your phone when you're looking at it. This will also be used in some apps so that they'll know that you're actually looking at your phone and avoid dimming the screen from inactivity. If you're still not sold on Face ID, that's okay you can still opt to use just the good old fashioned passcode. All this talk of face ID and removal of the home button, Justine, how do we do things? Using the same familiar gestures in iOS will get you around your new iPhone 10 just fine. A simple swipe up and you're back to the home screen. Swipe down in the top right corner for access to your control center. To get to your notifications, you can swipe down on the left or you can swipe down right here on the top. Swipe up and pause to show your current open apps. Press and hold on those open apps to delete. You can swipe up or you can press this little delete button to remove them. You can also access these by swiping left and right at the very bottom of your screen. You can 
also use Hey Siri if you have that turned on just by saying Hey Siri. That will activate Siri on your iPhone. Shh, no, stop it. I'm recording VO, Siri. The on button is now a dedicated Siri button. Press and hold to ask Siri a question. Did I ever tell you that I actually met the voice of Siri? Some of you may already know this, but if you don't, this is Susan Bennett, the voice of Siri. What's your favorite Siri phrase to say for people? Oh, my favorite phrase is, I don't know and I don't care. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> Siri jests. <laughs> to turn off your iPhone 10, you hold the power button and the volume button down. You can also turn it off in the software in iOS 11, which I actually had no idea about until finding it right now. To take a screenshot, you hold the power and the volume up button. Magically, with these screenshots, the notch does not appear. What kind of sorcery is this? One of the things that I've been looking forward to forever is wireless charging. Both the iPhone 10 and the iPhone 8 are embedded with Qi wireless charging, and it has an all new glass back. This is by far the strongest glass that Apple has ever implemented in their phones, both on the front display and the back. I definitely don't want to repeat of this. This might have been my first iPhone shatter, I think. Uh, I'm not sure. I've lost track. With the air power out in 2018, you'll finally be able to charge all of your devices on this. This is a wireless power mat. You can charge all of your devices at the same time. And I mean, it's, it's wireless, but like it's, it's not. Just no wires connected to your devices. You get the point. This here is the fan favorite top notch. This thing has so much technology packed into it. An infrared camera, a flood illuminator, proximity sensor, ambient light sensor, speakers, microphones, front camera, and a dot projector. All of this for animated emojis, face ID, and portrait mode selfies. But let's be real, selfies are a thing of the past. Animated emojis that mirror your exact expressions are why you're really dropping on the new iPhone 10. You can record up to 10 second Animoji videos and text them to your friends. Hey Jenna. Another thing that I really like about the Animojis is if you don't want to send a video, you can actually turn it into a sticker. So all I have to do is instead of hitting record, I just make an emotion, I click it, and I drag and drop just like you would do an iMessage sticker. Much like the portrait mode that you may be familiar with, you can now use the front-facing camera with new portrait lighting modes. Natural light, studio light, contour light, stage light, and stage light mono. I'm not really sure if this is considered hashtag no filter, but come on. We all know those hashtag no filter photos have been retouched and edited, color corrected, face tuned, face blurred beyond recognition. But hey, I did not a filter, right? One of the biggest physical changes and main identifier to say, hey guys, guess what? I have the new iPhone 10 is the rear dual cameras. They've now been rotated vertically with a quad tone LED flash right in the center so that everyone will know that you have the newest iPhone. You can also let them know when they ask about your new phone that it has a larger and faster 12 megapixel sensor with improved optical image stabilization. And new on the iPhone 10, optical image stabilization on both lenses. The new iPhone 10 features the brand new A11 Bionic chip that is currently the most powerful and smartest chip in a smartphone. With the four efficiency cores and the new CPU, it'll be about 70% faster than the previous A10 Fusion. And the two performance cores are up to 25% faster. Did I lose you? It's okay. Make yourself some flashcards so you'll have these details ready for a salty Android user. And I'm not hating. I've had plenty of Android phones in my days. I just want you to have the facts ready. One of the things that I just couldn't get over is how beautiful the new screen is. It has a million to one contrast ratio with the best color accuracy of any previous iPhone. They've also increased the speakers by 35% and they're in stereo. This will make binge watching an entire Netflix series a little bit more enjoyable. I don't usually have the true tone display turned on, but depending upon your current lighting situation, your display's colors will shift to give you the most accurate representation of what you're looking at. It's pretty easy to switch on and off, so if you find yourself looking at your screen and wondering why it's turning a little bit too yellow or a little bit too blue, that could be the issue. Another of the things that I'm loving so much about this new phone is the video options. Now with the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 10, you can shoot 4K 60 frames a second and up to 240 frames a second at 1080p. So what that means for most people is that you're probably going to eat up a ton of storage really, really, really quick. But what that means for making cool, high quality videos, you can do that right from your iPhone. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm a sucker for slow-mo. With the new optical image stabilization, you'll see a noticeable difference in low light photos. New in iOS 11, you can loop, bounce, and create long exposure shots from your live photos. Also with the back vertical cameras, this placement is so much better aligned for depth sensing, which means increased spatial awareness for augmented reality. I haven't got a chance to spend much time with any AR apps, but the few that I have tried are a lot of fun. With all of these new integrations in the latest iPhone 10 and the iPhone 8, I'm really looking forward to seeing what developers are working on with AR Kit.
So that's the new iPhone 10. It comes in space gray and silver with storage options of why even bother 64 gigs. And oh my gosh, I shoot a lot of 4K video and photos of my dog, 256 gigs. Leave me some comments below and let me know what your favorite iPhone 10 feature is. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making it for you. If you liked it, make sure you hit like and don't forget to subscribe. Wink. Can Animojis wink?